Today, I'll be showing you how to make your own nades guide in CS2 with Valve's new annotation update so you can easily learn and practice utility without having to download workshop maps or pay for third-party programs. But first, quick word from today's sponsor, Skins Monkey. They are one of the best and easy to use CS2 trading sites. You can instantly switch out your skins you don't want by selecting them and then pick up the new skins you do want that are so much nicer. You can also buy skins much cheaper with a 35% total deposit bonus using code NART. Use the link in the description to get new skins now. First, open up CS2, go to play. We are going to create our own practice server. So click practice, casual, select all of these options here. Pick the map you want to create your guide on. I'm going to go with Mirage, then click go. Once you're in game, open up your console, type in SV underscore cheats space one. Every console command shown in this video is down below in the description. Then you're going to type in SV underscore allow underscore annotations space true. This is going to allow you to use the annotation console commands. Annotations are made by using this console command, which is annotation underscore create. And if you press enter with this command, console will tell you what you can make. So you can make a grenade which the command would be annotation underscore create space grenade. And then the text, you can make a position, you can make a text, you can annotate a line and a spot. So I'm going to show you how to make a annotation for a grenade. To create a grenade annotation, you are going to want to throw whatever grenade that you are annotating first. And I'm going to be using the window smoke on Mirage an example. Once you have that thrown, make sure you have that set position and lineup that you are wanting to annotate, then open up your console, type in annotation underscore create space grenade space, and then name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name this window smoke, then enter. You can see that it creates three annotations, one, two, three out of 100. You can only have 100 annotations per text file, which you can have multiple text files open which i'll show later all right so let's go ahead and close that console we can see it's called window smoke we've got aiming instructions that can be edited out you see the grenade preview of where the smoke should land you should see also where you can aim at to throw the smoke and then if we move out we have the window smoke the position on where you should throw the smoke as well as the standing instructions if i stand on that circle i get instructions as well as a crosshair placement on how to throw the window smoke we can edit the aim and position instructions, but first we need to save the annotations. So open up your console. Let's go ahead and type in annotation underscore save space, and then call this whatever you want. I'm going to call this Mirage. It's going to create a text file. This saves it as a config. After every new annotation, you should always save your work by writing in the console command annotation underscore save which I would write in again, annotation underscore save space Mirage to override the file. Let me show you where this file saves and what edits you can make inside this file. Alt tab, go into your CSGO folder and then under your CSGO folder, there should be a new folder called annotations, double click into it. And then we see a text file that we saved the name here, which I saved mine under Mirage. You can go ahead and pick whatever file that you saved yours as. So go ahead and double click that to open up. And then we're going to see three annotations. The first annotation was zero. Second annotation is one. Third annotation is two listed here. So remember every nade that you make is going to have three annotations. And then inside these annotations, if we look, we see here text standing instructions. And then the other text was, we scroll down text right here, aim instructions. So we could actually change these out to put whatever we want. So for the standing instructions, I'm just going to say stand here. And then for the aiming instructions, I'm going to say hold D plus jump throw. I'm going to save that by pressing control S and then let's go ahead and go back inside our game. Let's go ahead and open up console. Anytime you make changes in the text file and you want to load the changes you made in game, type in console annotation underscore reload space name. For me, I'm going to put Mirage because that is what my text file was saved as. The new position instructions says stand here, which we change. So if I stand here and look for the aiming instructions, now it says hold D plus jump throw instead of aiming instructions. What happens if I want to throw multiple nades from the same position and create multiple annotations? You can. So go ahead and do what I did in the first step is to get in that position and throw your 
nade. So I'm going to throw the short smoke from that same window position. And then remember, open up the console, type in annotation underscore create space grenade grenade space. I'm going to call this short smoke. And there we go. It says created map annotation four, five, six. And then we have here short smoke aim instructions. We've got the target crosshair here. And then we've got instructions here. You can see that it gets in the way of this window smoke. So I'm going to show you how you could remove that if you don't want all this in there, as well as how to move this either up, down, right, left, get it out of the window area. And that is going to be done through the text file. So after we do the commands in game, make sure again, guys, that we are saving it with annotation underscore save space and then whatever file name it was. So mine was Mirage. And let's go ahead and go in the text file inside the annotation text file. If the annotations don't show your new nodes after you save the in game, let's go ahead and exit that notepad and then go back to your annotations folder and open that same file up. There should be an updated version that shows the new nodes, which I see here, node three, node four, and node five. To remove the icon and text where the window position, where the short smoke was blocking it, where it looked all weird, it's you find the short smoke, so your second nade, and I could tell by the second nade because it's annotation three. So every annotation has three parts to it. First one is called main. The second part is called the aim target. And then the third, the third node is going to be called destination. So under the main node, which is the first node, we're going to look for visible PFX. We're going to change the true to false. And then where it says the text here for smoke, we're just going to erase that, keep that blank. And then also the stand instructions, we're going to erase that. Go ahead and save control S let's go back in game to load up the changes that you made to your text file. Go ahead and open up console type in annotation underscore reload space, the name of the file, which mine was Mirage. And there we go. We can see that we removed the short smoke text and the position text from the short smoke. And then we've only got one icon here. The aiming instructions is still here. We did not erase that as well as the short smoke label. Let me show you how to move the aim instructions over so it doesn't block the window smoke label. In the annotation config, we are going to look for our short smoke, which is our second grenade that we put in for the annotations. And how do I know that I'm in the right area? Remember, there is three nodes per annotation. So first node, second node, and third node. First node is always called main for the subtype. Second node is always called aim target. And then the third node is always called destination. So we already messed with text up here earlier for the position under the main. And then now we are focusing on the aim target, which is the aim instructions. And in order to change the coordinates of instructions and move them over, we have to go to text position offset. There's three coordinates, three numbers. X is the first number. Y is the second number. Z is the third number. It's all about experimenting here. So I'm going to change the Y to minus 15.0 and you can go negative. I'm going to save it, go back in game. I'm going to open up my console and I'm going to reload by typing annotation underscore reload space file name, which is Mirage for myself. Go ahead and get in position. Now the aim instructions have moved over to the right and they are not obstructing and overlapping window smoke. And one way to figure out where your coordinates are is if you use CL underscore show pause space two, you can look there. On the left there, there's a bunch of numbers that you can figure out where you are relative to the coordinates of where you're at and how you should figure out if you need to change the X, Y, or Z. You could also change the icon and the text color. Find your first node and under the main subcategory, look for color. You see there's three colors, 255, 255, 255. If you want a specific color, Google RGB value codes, and there's charts out there that's going to give you numbers to get those colors. I'm changing it to red, which is 255, 00. Then I'm saving the file control S, 
in game open up console type in annotation underscore reload space whatever the name of your config is for the annotation mine is called mirage and now we see that the icons as well as the font for the window smoke is now red let's say we accidentally made a annotation that we did not want so i'm just going to make a random one here called two okay how do we delete this so there's a command called annotation underscore delete pv underscore previous node so remember we have to do this three times because when you make a grenade node it creates three nodes so we have to delete three previous nodes so it'll show up here it's kind of glitchy right now hopefully valve fixes this but so if we go ahead and save annotation annotation underscore save space mirage it's going to save what we currently have with this being deleted so once we restart and reload into the game this should not be here anymore i restarted the server and remember we have to put in sv underscore cheats one I have to put in sv allow annotations through then to load up our config we have to type in annotation underscore load in one space whatever the name i call it mirage and there you go it's not here but the ones that we made earlier are here so just type restart in console and it'll restart the server or if you want to fully exit and restart your game you can do so if you want to get rid of all annotations that you've made go ahead and type in annotation underscore clear and then this is going to clear every annotation that you've made so earlier we had the window one as I said earlier, every annotation file can only hold up to 100 nodes, which is equivalent to 33 nades. So you can have multiple text files and configs of annotations load up in one game. So if I wanted to load up multiple files, all you have to do is load them multiple times. So I'm going to load up my first one, which was called Mirage. There you go. You can see some of the nades listed here. And then I have another annotation text config called Mirage 2 that's going to show more nades. Let me load up that config annotation underscore load space name of the config, which is Mirage 2. There we go. These are the extra nades in my other file. So you can have more than 33 nades in a game or more than 100 nodes. You just have to load them up separately inside the game and you can load up multiple files. If you want to share your annotations, your nade map guides with your friends, all you have to do is go to your annotation folder take these files and send them to your friend. And then all they have to do is move them into their CSGO and annotations folder, then load them in game. There's other useful annotation console commands. So for example, let's say I want to show off this wall bang. So I want to annotate it so I could relearn it in the future. How do I do that? Go ahead and stand where the wall bang should be. Type in console annotation underscore create space position space, and then label what this should be. I'm going to call this wall bang. Hit enter, it creates one annotation. If I move away, this is where I should be standing. So wherever your feet is, that's where it's going to be positioned, whatever this position annotation will be. So for the spot where I should be aiming at, just go ahead and put your crosser where the next thing is gonna be called a spot, which is the aiming annotation. So go ahead and open up console, type in annotation, underscore create space spot enter this creates two annotations and this makes this circle thing of where you should be aiming at and then where is the instructions and the label that is going to be its own one which is going to be annotation underscore create space text space quotation marks so this is going to be a label here for the first text i'm going to call this wall bang defuse and then end the quotation marks space quotation marks again this is the aim instructions i'm just say aim here quotation marks and then there's two things that you could add to this there's two commands that you can make what the text looks like first i'm going to use and show off float so it shows you the text so wherever my crosshair was that's where the text is going to be so wall bang defuse aim here that so you see the text is floating what if i want the text to be on the surface so let me aim over here i will write the same text but i'm going to replace float with surface type in surface 
now you can see the text is actually on the wall here versus it in the floating in the sky so that is how you make a wall bang for example using the positional annotation using the spot annotation and then using the text annotations now you know how to make your own nades guide for cs2 if you have any questions or problems comment down below and join my discord link is down below in the description give the video a like if you find this guide helpful and subscribe to the channel for more cs2 guides see you in the next one